Hey, what's up YouTube land? Eddie Hill. And I know it's weird that the new week began the 1st of October. But hey, I'm doing a new review this week. And we got another good line of figures to review. It's review time, people. And yes, we got more Pokemon Mega Constructs. We got Plusle here. Probably one of the random series Pokemon I know very well. Arms are articulated a little bit. They don't have any much movement except for the head. Can totally do some swiveling until a part pops loose. But hey, I like it. It's cute. And I remember Plusle from the original Pokemons. Not the original Pokemon series. Sorry, I had to correct myself. From the random Pokemon series. I don't know which one. And can Plusle fit in the Pokeball? Indeed, Plusle can. So, boom. You just caught yourself. Plusle. And it has a discounted tag. I have not removed it. Because for the sake of the review. But here's a picture of little Plusle. Ain't it adorable? And I like these figures. And now I'm going to get Plusle out of the Pokeball. And on the little stand. These were discounted for $2.50. And I picked up the three. I really thought were adorable. And that's all there is to say for Plusle. Here we got this one. If you know how to pronounce this properly, please leave me a comment. But I remember this Pokemon from a Game Boy Advance game. Sorry if I don't know its name. I'll show the packaging. If you know the name, please leave me a comment. And it was discounted as well. And can it fit in the Pokeball, you wonder? That's a yes. So you just caught it. It's a neat gimmick, if I do say so myself. And I love... I love gimmick items. Especially these. They're the funnest gimmick toy I've ever picked up. And now we're going to take out these two packagings, because you've seen them. Next one on the list is... It's Munchlax. And this one I actually do know. And this was from a random series. I can't remember which one. If you know, leave me a comment. If you're a Pokemon fan and you know. As much as I was when I was a kid... With the originals here. <laughs> I watched the random stuff after. Over the years. And can Munchlax fit in the Pokeball? You're probably wondering. Maybe with some... Adjustment you could possibly get it in there without making it fall apart. And boom! You just caught Munchlax. And now we're going to put Munchlax back on his stand because he's Munchlax. And he'll eat you out of house and home just like Scooby-Doo would. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help the joke. <laughs> oh, I love the joke. And if you hear me joke on this channel, I occasionally like to do it for a little my way of humor and myself. <laughs> so, yeah. Next on the list in Wave 8, you guessed it, we got Little Eevee. And this thing is so adorable. I love it. Head is well articulated. Has a swivel. Ears are articulated. I love it. Even his little footsies are articulated. Oh, You're probably wondering why I'm saying oh a lot, because when I fall in love with something, it's enough to make me give the all face, because I love, I love these things so much. 
And if you're a Pokemon fan and love cute things like I do, pick them up. You won't soon regret it. You'll be glad you did. Because they're that number of precious. Oh, they're so precious and cute. Even the paint and sculpting is. And I can't help but indulge in these. And can Eevee fit in the Pokeball? You're probably wondering. Split it open. Eevee in there carefully without making it fall apart. That's a big problem with these figures. Maybe. Maybe I can do it. Maybe. Maybe I can do it on camera. Maybe. Probably have to uh, fold the ears down. Maybe that'll help. And boom, you just caught Eevee. And I really enjoy these things, and I love to fiddle around with them, and I love how cute these things are. So sorry if I have the all expression through this whole video. <laughs> I just enjoy these so very much, and I hope you enjoy these Pokemon Mega Constructs as much as I did. No one, the only place I'm going to be able to find them now is online, because my workplace stopped carrying these things. Come on, Evie, plug back into the Pokeball. There you go. And next on the list, it's, you guessed it, it's Meowth. And he, to me, in the original Pokemon series, when I was a kid, <laughs> he was a member of Team Rocket. And he was like, Meow, that's right. <laughs> that's right, we bad. That's right, we bad. <laughs> Sorry if I can't help but do the voice. And can Meow fit in the Pokeball? Uh, a little bit in a trick way, but maybe I can get it in there without making it fall apart. And what do you know? I actually pulled it off. And these things fit pretty snugly in the Pokeballs. And I'm giving you a bio on some of these. It's my way of explaining which figure is which. So, yeah. <laughs> These things are very cool and very cute and adorable. So glad that I got into these figures. Next on the list is... It's Jigglypuff. And, yeah, Jigglypuff. She was the one... P he or she, I don't know... Because I think they're both males and females among this, among Jigglypuff. And she could really put you to sleep. Like she had this uh, little microphone and when you fell asleep during her song, she little marker mic microphone. She'd draw over your face and get mad. <laughs> Ain't that just adorable. And the arms are little bit articulated, don't have much articulation except for bend right there. Ears, of course. Some of these are neatly articulated, some of them aren't. And can we fit Jigglypuff in the Pokeball? With some ease. Maybe best to lay, lay Jigglypuff flat and then put it in the Pokeball, and boom, there we caught Jigglypuff. And these are so fun to mess around with. Before we end this video, for those of you who want to find these figures and think they're cute as a button, as much as I do, you're probably wondering, where did I get these? Well, I got these from my workplace, in Giant Eagle and North for sales until they stop carrying them. They don't have any of these left at all. But you could probably find them online for a good price, maybe. 
maybe eBay. And that's all there is to say for these mega constructs. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out.